Hey everybody, Jordan Rudis here on stage with Dream Theater, and this is my world. Let me take you through it. First, we're gonna look at this wonderful keyboard. This is the Kronos 88, and the very cool thing about this one is it's a custom designed, especially for me, it's an electric blue color. It has my logo on it on the side, and this instrument is the core of my system. It's really, really amazing. I've been using Korg instruments for a long time and I get a lot of satisfaction out of it. It's really, really awesome. The way that I work it is that I basically play my show in a pretty linear fashion where I'll go from one setup to the next um, and use a pedal to do that. So I can be playing along. <laughs> has a lot of my classic kind of Jordan-y sounds. You know, I make a lot of very heavy sounds in dream theater, so you got like... A uh, snarling pig sound, that's what we call it. And you know, one of the great things about the Kronos is the ability to split the keyboard and have up to 16 different parts, so enabling me to do things like... that I love to do is really large orchestral sounds using these layers. And a lot of times I'll be handling the Taurus bass as well. So the pinky, my left hand pinky will do that. I use the layers to create and craft these sounds that almost sound like one sound, but they're actually a mixture of a lot of different sounds. Something like this. So like this sound will use like a, like a mallet kind of sound, a pizzicato, some kind of a keyboard, and I blend them all together to craft it to be exactly what I need. Let's, uh, let's look at what the Kronos is actually sitting on because that's pretty special as well. Those of you who have seen me live will know that I like to move around. So I'm completely flexible here. Um, I have uh, a lot of fun just kind of moving my stand around. So it goes around like this, but it also will tilt down. So as I'm playing, I can uh, engage the audience, if you will, um, to be able to see what I'm doing, especially uh, effective if I'm playing any kind of uh, lead lines or anything like that, you know. I want people to see me play. And that's fun, and I've kind of gotten used to playing and moving at the same time. So, um, yeah, a lot of fun. And uh, we should look below because the great thing about this whole stand is that all the pedals that I use um, travel with me when I'm playing. So uh, this pedal actually changes the sound of the Kronos, or the setup, so I can be... Switch. pedals travel with me and it's very elegant and very smooth and it's very easy for me to even be holding onto the keyboard and moving at the same time. I can drag it with me. Pedal 
whole system is very simple. It's the pedal that controls the um, setup that I'm on on the Kronos, a, a traditional kind of sustain pedal. Uh, this pedal is really good because it also will change the page of my um, iPad. I'm using a program called Fourscore, which is a wonderful program, and uh, we're using the AirTurn device. Um, my tech keep rigged it up so that I can use the Boss FS5U pedal, um, and it uh, plugs into an air turn device, and when I press it, it very nicely changes the page that I'm looking at. So we can just do that, get a different page, different song. So sitting on the Kronos, we should just talk for a second about this nice little box. You saw how I was uh, tilting the keyboard stand. This box uh, controls all of that, and I can tilt the keyboard so it goes away from me facing down, or the keyboard comes towards me, or it goes down to the left, or it goes down to the right. And uh, it's simple, but it's really nice, and I can get to it quickly from the keyboard and control um, my space and my time. So, I can do this, I can stop it at any point, I can bring it going back up. Also, not to forget my cup holder here. That's a very important item for any soft drinks which I may want to have during my performance. Let's take a look at the uh, Continue Mini. Uh, those of you who have been following me for a while know that I was one of the people who embraced the Continuum, Lipholt Hawkins amazing device. When it came out, I used it on Octavarium, Dream Theater's record, um, and been using it for years. And uh, when the Continue Mini came out, I was just really, really excited because I was like, oh my God, it's a Continue Mini. It's gonna be awesome. So um, using that uh, as well, it's wonderful. It has all the sounds built into it. Matter of fact, the same sounds as what's on the full-size Continuum. And uh, it's beautiful. <laughs> And it's totally sensitive to uh, all the uh, usual continuum type touches. It'll look at the Y direction, the X direction, and the Z direction as well. So, um look at what's on top of that which is another iPad. iPads are a big part of my system. These days I'm running GeoShred. GeoShred is my company Wisdom Music's uh, latest and greatest um, software instrument for the iPad and I've been using it in a bunch of different places. One place um, is in the song Nightmare to Remember where I'm playing just a wailing kind of a lead. <laughs> kind of wailing lead approach. Also, uh, on GeoShred, you can do nice things like use each one of the individual notes to fade in the sound or control different parameters. So I'll use it in this way where I'll gently bring in a sound, kind of milk it, let it feed back. And it's based on physical modeling GeoShred. That's why if I bring in a note, I leave my hands still the string basically will die, but if I move and do a vibrato, it's like a guitar player kind of giving energy to the string. And it features this nice little matrix pad at the top that lets you bring in harmonics and stuff like that. So I can play a note, have the pad in the middle, pretty much the fundamental, and then move to a corner and get harmonics and the whammy it's really really cool let's take a look at the other side in a new instrument that I'm incorporating which is the Hammond XK5 the XK5 is awesome and uh, it's been a wonderful discovery for me. I've been using it a lot on the new album, Distance Over Time. It's really come in handy because it has a great sound. Um...
And you know, uh, playing in a rock band such as Dream Theater, I use a lot of uh, overdrive in different ways. And we've got the Hammond really like souped up with some very, very special devices. Um, my tech, Keith Wexler, was able to wire it through a bunch of different things which we're gonna look at. Um, the Hammond itself, of course, has a beautiful, uh, you know, realistic sound. Uh, it really does the whole B3 kind of thing. And uh, the action is, you know, completely uh, organ friendly. Let's you do all the. Without, uh, without killing your hands, you can do the Emerson swipes and all that kind of uh, really, really fun stuff. Below the Hammond, uh, we've got a pedal which is. Uh, talking to actually the rotary simulator that's in my rack, which we're going to look at, which is the Neo Ventilator uh, pedal. I should say while we're here, just briefly, that the way we've got it wired up, if I'm playing an organ sound, like if I'm triggering the XK5 from the Kronos, which I can do um, very easily, um, like in this case. That's actually the sound of the XK5. When I move the joystick, it's actually uh, triggering the rotary, the same rotary device. So I can do it from the joystick, I can do it from the pedal. I've got different choices depending on where I am and what I'm playing uh, at that moment. Um, this stand, actually, that the Hammond is on also will turn. So I've got the flexibility. Here we are on the side of the stage where Keith takes charge of all the technology that supports the keyboard system and the rack that you just saw is critical and you know a huge part of it. For one, everything goes through the KL8 mixer. We have 10 different uh, inputs going in there and all my instruments basically are feeding through this which then go out to two outputs to the monitor and to the house. And the great thing about the KL8 is that we can also run the sound and go directly into the computer because it's a, an audio interface. I'm a big fan of what Radial is doing for keyboard players. First, they turned me on to the Key Largo, which was amazing. And then right before this tour, they showed us the KL8. And I was like, oh my God, I have to have that because literally everything is going into that. They make it so simple and they give us keyboard players exactly what we need. So one of these is a backup. One of these is jammed with all my stuff. And on top of that is the radial space heater. That's really a secret weapon. For those of you who were listening to the organ sound that I'm uh, driving in these shows, the way that I can get my grit and distortion, one of the, one of the tricks is with this space heater because uh, it has tubes in it and tubes are cool and radial is cool and they uh, made this device that allows me to run my organ through these tubes to give it uh, some extra uh, tube distortion and uh, it's really a big part of the sound. Also on top of that, which you can't see too well because it's inside the rack, but I will talk about it, is the Neo Ventilator. This is a real solution. We were looking for a great rotary solution for a while, something that would be road worthy, not too big and give us the sound that we needed. So it's a real combination between the ventilator and the space heater. And then I'm gonna talk about for a minute the Line 6 Helix, which is an extremely powerful multi-effects processor. It's got a lot of inputs and a lot of our things are fed through there. So we can add uh, warmth with extra distortion, with reverbs. It's just loaded with, uh, with power. Uh, and we use it kind of as a hub. And also I know that Keith is able to um, make the magic happen where I can trigger, trigger this from different points by having it as an insert to the Helix. So uh, the Helix has gone way beyond the call of duty and surprised us both with its kind of massive uh, power. On top of that, we've got the uh, Motu interface. That's the traveler has been with us for a while. We also uh, use that to uh, route our signal to and from the computer. Let's take a look at the brand new uh, Kitar that I've been using. 
Hey everybody, this is the Roland Axe Edge keytar that I've been using on stage in all its glory. I love this thing because it looks cool. It uh, has the functionality that I need. I've been enjoying this ribbon that I can bend pitch with. There's a bar here, so if I bend pitch and I move down, press down on this bar, it will add uh, my feedback tones. And uh, one of the great things about it is this design that uh, Jerry LaFaro did for me. Uh, the blades, anybody can do what they want with it because they're uh, interchangeable. You can take them out and spray paint them. But of course, Jerry is a great artist and he, um, and he designed this. And he also actually painted the whole shell. So in the lights from the stage, it kind of uh, changes color and it goes from like, uh, also like an electric blue and kind of morphs into a brown, but it will kind of change uh, with the light. And um, yeah, I love this thing. It's been going really, really well. And for those of you who are curious, the sound source uh, that I've been using is I've been triggering my Chord Kronos, but this instrument has, you know, a lot of sounds built into it. So for those of you who are looking for a very cool uh, guitar, I can't recommend this enough. It's really, really awesome. If you'd like to know more about my world of keyboards, definitely join us for this year's KeyFest. May 30th through June 1st at the amazing Sweetwater Sound. See you there.